M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I did a video on this the other day. It's a modification by, the name is Fadji, and the modification bin number ends 0118, and I will put the link in for that in the description. So it's basically a firmware, and it'll, I'm sure it'll go on the K5 or the K6. So this is the K5. So it's got a few features. Now I have got my HF antenna connected to it and we are in USB mode, right in small writing here. It does say USB. So let's uh, show you how to change the mode. Well, actually, firstly, we'll show you how to even go into this mode. You press F then five after you've installed the firmware. Remember to get into firmware mode, turn the radio off, hold the PTT, turn it on. I'll link a separate video loading this firmware. So to change the mode, we're going to press the zero. So all the button functions change once you add this, you know, go into this particular mode. So we'll press the mode then. If you can see, it's quite small. FM, AM, USB. We'll leave it in USB. Now we typed in the frequency when we first started. If I press the bottom function button, the backlight is on and off, which is quite nice. You can see the spectrum scope as well. If I push up and down, it sort of, sort of searches, I suppose. Like so. Number two is frequency step. So I'm pressing it. I'm not sure if frequency step's changing. Because I can see the frequency there. step there, 25k. But I'm pressing it as per instructions. Number one says exposure time. Let's press it. Okay. I'm pressing it. You can see the arrow at the bottom seems to be moving. FM1, function one, says frequency blacklist. So we'll press it. Definitely something there. Is it AM? Sounds like music, doesn't it? Okay. Scanning step says it's number three. Bandwidth is number six. And when I press number six, it looks like the actual step is changing up here. Number five, it says enter the frequency. So we'll go, uh, I'm not really sure, no, I've done this before, so. I'm not really sure now. <laughs> if I turn it off, then on. There's, see that at the beginning? OSFW, FC4. 607 and what to go into now you've got to, you can type in a frequency at the, just in the normal way I think it's only 27 megs let's go zero one four yes 27 megs in this section anyway let's go back in you go F Five, you go back into that. Now I couldn't hear anything until I think I pressed number one. And then it sort of came to life. Now it's not come to life, but you can see there, it's picking up all that. Anyway, I did lower the squelch, unless there's another setting for squelch, might be a different button. And it says here, test, fix cancellation of frequency input when everything is full, fix the level display when capturing frequency. Offset when capturing frequency, added USB test mode parameters with Alexi ADC table is the same for all modes now, fixed Alexi uh, USB. So check it out, I'll put the direct link in the, in the description of this video. 
Someone asked me, you know, how do you get it working? Well, you load this firmware, which again will be in the description. I'll give you a brief sort of screenshot now of what, of what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this video here. You can see open firmware on test, Fadgy, thank you. Um, and then the, the, the list I was reading from is here, which I literally will copy and paste into the description of this video, and then you can have a go yourself. Sounds like good work to me. Thanks for watching my channel, 73.